My third area was uh, an area called Puerto Madryn. It was probably ranks up there in my favorite. Puerto Madryn is a little port town. Um, they run off of the industries that kind of keep it thriving there, or the fishing industry, and also there's a large aluminum plant. So the, the economy is quite well there. It's a, it's a great city. Um, like it's a little beach town, and everything kind of runs along the beach. It sits on this gulf, and so it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful, uh, very calm city the church is really strong there and um it it again is another tourist destination people come what it what it has is um during specific times of the year the southern right well actually comes in to to breed in this gulf because it is calm and they don't know why but for some reason these wells jump and they put on these spectacular shows so anytime you're walking anywhere near the beach you can look out and you'll see whale tails coming out you'll see whales jumping up out of uh, out of the water so it's, a, it's an absolutely beautiful area right close to Puerto Madryn is a place called La Peninsula Valdez and it's actually on the UNESCO World Heritage Site um, and it is a place that is a very protected wildlife reserve because it contains different flora and fauna that are unique to the Patagonia. Um, you'll get killer whales that come there, sea lions again, the other southern right whales, just many different types of animals and plants. Puerto Madryn has a very well-known throughout Argentina, very well-known soccer club, actually. Um, they actually compete in one of the higher divisions. So that's a big thing in Puerto Madryn. A lot of people really like to go and support the teams in Puerto Madryn.